In the NFL draft, the NC Chiefs chose left tackle from Central Michigan, Eric Fisher. Fisher was the right pick for Kansas City for a multitude of reasons. Despite going 2 and 14, the team does have good talent with players like Jamal Charles, Tom Ali, Derek Johnson, on and on down the line. For the Chiefs, the quarterback was in need going into the offseason. It wasn't by the time they got to the draft. They had already traded for Alex Smith, giving up a second round pick this year and a conditional next year. They had signed Chase Daniel as a backup quarterback. And because of the way that the draft played out, there really was not a quarterback that was available to them that would have made sense with the number one overall pick. Fisher, he makes a ton of sense for the Chiefs. He's going to fill in immediately at right tackle after they cut Eric Winston in the offseason. Brandon Albert, who was the subject of trade rumors for a long time, he has stayed in Kansas City. They're working on a long-term deal with him. So Fisher gets to start out now as the right tackle. He's an immense man. He's six foot seven. He's 306 pounds, but he has very quick feet. At the combine, he had the best shuttle time of any offensive lineman with a 4.44. And last year, he really showed his wares in the college game. He ended up being a first-team All-American. He really vaulted him up the draft board all the way to the top pick. As you'll see here in our first play, Fisher has the ability to really drive block. He's young. He, he, absolutely runs over the defensive end on this play and washes him out, giving his running back plenty of space to get upfield. With Kansas City and Jamal Charles behind him, that play will come in handy very, very often. The Chiefs love to, love to run stretch plays to the outside. You see here on our second play, Fisher has the ability to get out to the second level. He chips down and then gets out to the linebacker and absolutely opens up a ton of running room. Fisher is the type of guy that Andy Reid is going to love in his system. He's quick, he's agile, but he's also a big man. He takes up a lot of space, and he will hide smaller players, not only like Charles, but like a Dexter McCluster behind him. We move to the third play, pass blocking. Fisher is very, very po polished at pass blocking. He knows how to shuffle his feet, how to move, and you see right here that he absolutely stonewalls the defender. Alex Smith will appreciate this. He will have plenty of time to throw the ball down the field. Fourth play. This is where you see the agility of an Eric Fisher. See how he originally blocks the man in front of him, but then recognizes the stunt, gets outside, and thwarts any kind of pressure from the blind side. This is something that can't be overemphasized enough. There's a ton of stunting in the NFL right now. Defensive coordinators love to use this move. It's a move that rookies usually are susceptible to. Fisher knows how to deal with this. Another reason the Chiefs made him the number one pick. Fisher also has a terrific work ethic. He came into college as a two-star recruit. He left the number one pick in the draft. That speaks to the type of work ethic the guy has. That'll obviously help him in the program as well. In high school, he wasn't even a major player then. In fact, he made the honorable mention team in Michigan. That goes to show how far the man has come. Now, he will come in handy with Kansas City as they run. They will run a lot of screens, a lot of trap plays in the West Coast offense with Charles, with McCoster, a lot of bubble screens to a player like a Dwayne Bow. All these factors that I've shown in the video will show why Eric Fisher will become the right pick for the Chiefs. He may not have been the sexy pick, but he was the right pick. The Chiefs will be happy they made it come September.